Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first video I'm making as a newly employed person. Um, so if you've stuck around or you've seen me before and you knew me as the guy who lost his job to AI, uh, that chapter of my life is over and I now have a job, which is uh, very cool. Uh, there is a video about that on my channel, which uh, you can watch if you want to. But today, we're going to be talking about Asmongold, which is somebody who actually appeared on the channel five months ago as he reacted to my whole situation of me losing a job. Um, since then, I've kept in touch with Asmongold's content. I have watched numerous videos from him. I've made a couple videos about him or segments in videos about him. And uh, he found himself this week on the end of being cancelled. Now, Asmongold is no stranger to being involved in controversies and beef on the internet. In fact, it's kind of his entire personality at this point. Initially, he got to start playing World of Warcraft and then moved on to kind of reaction content and discussing uh, world trending news such as the uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard stuff. Uh, more recently, he made a ton of videos regarding Concord. Uh, he does videos on creators like Mr. Beast, Logan Paul and KSI, that kind of stuff. What you'd expect from your regular commentary YouTube channel these days. So this time around, Asmongold tried to essentially say that he doesn't care about genocide. He doesn't care about the death of families, people, um, and that people involved are inferior, I think was the word, which is... Uh, <laughs> bold. Yeah, basically he went on this entire rant uh, about the Palestinian stuff. Um, basically, yeah, just saying that he doesn't care uh, that these people have genocide embedded into their culture and that he doesn't feel sorry for them. Um, and yeah, obviously uh, Twitter especially didn't take too kindly to this and within hours he was being cancelled. Uh, his Twitch channel got banned for 14 days, which to be honest, that's a, that's a light suspension to be honest. Um, I think that he'll come back on Twitch after this is over and just resume like nothing ever happened. I don't think he's actually going to get cancelled and be banished from the internet. I don't think it's going to result in anything like that. Um, there's actually, strangely enough, like tons of people that are in agreement with him on this, but I think that might be mostly his audience that he's kind of cultivated over time. Um, his apology video that he just released has like 93% um, likes over dislikes ratio, so people seem to be, you know, accepting of the apology as well. So I don't think it's actually going to result in him getting cancelled. However, I do think it will drastically shape um his content for the future because this is like you know this is strike one although to be fair asmongold has many strikes over the years um but this is the first time where i think he's had to publicly do an apology for something so i think this will put him on edge um, about saying anything regarding this topic ever again um and yeah i think he'll be very careful about targeting certain groups um, with his uh, statements um, on the internet for the foreseeable future. Safe to say he will just go back to discussing and reacting to topics such as video game releases, uh, content creators, stuff like that, or wild Florida man news. The uh, suspension from Twitch comes as new rules were actually integrated into Twitch recently. Um, and the speech that Asmongold gave violated several of the new guidelines from Twitch, um, such as uh, behavior that is motivated by hatred, prejudice, or intolerance, including behavior that promotes or encourages discrimination, uh, and users not being able to create content that expresses inferiority to a particular group of people. Um, for example, statements re related to physical, mental, or moral um, differences between people. And uh, also, users can't encourage or support political or economic dominance of any race, ethnicity, or religious group. Um, yeah, there was other things in there as well, but those were like the, the main ones. He actually broke about six rules in one stream. Um, <laughs> So um, I'm very, very surprised at the light ban of 14 days. Um, so yeah, he also has another Twitch channel which didn't receive any ban at all 
I believe he is completely free to just go and stream on his other channel. Um, and his YouTube stuff has been unaffected completely. He still makes ad revenue from that. He's still monetized. Uh, he can still stream there. Yeah, he can just continue as normal. Um, you know, he'll make an apology. Well, he's already made the apology. Um, and uh, he'll just continue. This is like, you know, this is his, this is his warning strike. Uh, if he does anything like this again, I'm sure it'll be much worse. Now, the apology I just want to touch on briefly. I think the apology is very well done. I also don't think he 100% believes and means everything that he says in the apology. It seems too structured. It seems too perfect. I think he's just saying what needs to be said to escape from the hellhole that he potentially was about to fall into. I think this is a PR masterclass. And uh, yeah, obviously, immediately he apologized. He's saying what he said was, uh, was wrong. And he also thanked everyone that called him out. That is a brilliant way to start an apology, is uh, letting everybody that called you out and everybody that's angry with you know that they are in the right and you are in the wrong. Absolute masterclass of an apology. Um, <laughs> then he goes on to say things that a lot of people have suspected and a lot of people called him out for. And that is because, you know, he's become um, a shell of his former self and that he's uh, become kind of a very mean spirited person over the years after doing all of this content for so long. And he's, he's saying things like friends, family, his dad, and now the internet um, have been telling him you have to chill. Um, and now he's got some accountability for something that he said and he's saying like, oh, thank God this has finally happened. I think it's a good thing. I think what that translates to is actually, you know, him basically saying, I got away with this for as long as I possibly could. Uh, now it's time for me to chill out, relax a little bit. Um, you know, I think he knew damn well what he was doing. I've made a video on this before. Asmongold is the absolute guru of rage baiting. He knows that jumping on controversial trending topics and giving a polarizing opinion will result in tons of backlash, but therefore lots of engagement, which means views, which means ad revenue, which means money, and also means more subscribers and potential higher viewership for him in the future. One of the reasons he's so big is because he discusses topics like this on a regular basis. He was absolutely chasing views, chasing money, and uh, yeah, it uh, it bit him in the ass and he's basically said, well, you, you know, okay, you caught me, time for me to chill, I've had my fun with this, I'll, uh, I'll relax in future. Um, but some companies associated with him have parted ways, even though he has apologized and things, uh, such as Starforge Systems, which is a PC building company that he co-owns with Moist Critical, and then uh, OTK, which is a gaming um, content creation team organization. Um, he's parted ways with both. Um, so this whole thing doesn't come without its downsides for Asmongold, even though he's, uh, you know, he's going to be able to kind of wiggle his way through this. Um, there are some repercussions that he's going to have to deal with. And now I think going forward, he has the opportunity to like really turn things around and actually potentially make this whole situation uh, work in his favor. Um, in, the, in his apology, he talks about changing uh, things like cleaning his room, drinking more water, which are things that he never did before. Obviously, Asmongold is famous for having one of the messiest, dirtiest, and probably one of the most rat and roach filled rooms an American has, um, at least an American that's in the public and, you know, streams, etc. Um, just imagine, imagine the viewership if he cleans his room. A live stream where Asmongold cleans his room probably breaks 50,000 concurrent viewers at least, and he probably makes thousands of dollars from doing it. Um, then maybe he gets a haircut and maybe he starts working out, maybe he plays less games, uh, starts eating healthy, drinking healthy, exercise, um, starts socializing with people more, makes more positive content. This whole thing can be twisted in a way which is very, very beneficial for him. And I think that's what he does going forward. Um, so yeah, this whole thing, 
as a slap on the wrist when you really look at it uh, in detail. And I think he will absolutely turn this around, um, which you can't knock. Once again, absolute masterclass, I think. Um, I think so many people will eat this up and think it's genuine, but I believe that it, parts of it I believe will be, but I also believe there are some, as I said, brilliant PR moves in there um, from him. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, this will die down over the next few days. Uh, it could have been a lot worse for him. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. We'll see what he does in the future. <laughs> uh, but I think I think he'll play it safe. All right. That's uh, that's basically it. There's not a whole lot of news here. You know, he, he said something. He got cancelled for it for 14 days, basically. And, uh, and then he'll be back. So, yeah. Um, all right. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.